Hi guys, hopefully this finds you very well. My name's Paul, this is Plan Z. Welcome to this little video where today we're going to be hearing a bunch of patches in the Tone X. It's going through G uh, to, uh, GT1000. Um, if you're subscribed to the channel, I want to say a quick uh, thank you for your support and curiosity. I'm sorry I haven't done any videos since the last base video. Um, about 12, 14 weeks ago now. I, my, my back really gave me problems. I've been struggling health-wise. So, uh, but just starting to get back into things and hopefully the sessions will step up a gear now. So I've, uh, the little jam track I've been doing different jams over uh, a rhythm section to try and understand how to get the best out of my guitars. I've redone the bass and the drums. I've just recorded those, just done a couple of loops in my RC600. I'm going to hear some amps uh, and see how my levels are doing. And if it works out, I'll show you the settings in the next video. Um, I'm also going to be doing another video into the bass. I've modified that patch since last doing it. It's much better, I think. And uh, I will be unboxing in that video uh, a meat box, a DoD meat box. They've just reissued it. Yay! So we're going to stick that through GT. But let's hear some amps. All of these are stock. I've just got a bit of EQ and compression coming from GT1000 after Tonex. Mass. We're on the neck pickup of a less pool standard fifties. opened up the back pickup. wonder if that'll clean up. Let's pull back the game pot a bit. Put a bit of compression on. Super Reaver. Supra. Let's open up the back pickup. Take off the compression. That's the clean boost centaur clon copy. I've done a copy of that passion crank again. Marshall JTM 50. We've got another one.
JTM 45. Can't wait to try this EQ set on the 5150s I was dialing in with you before. Feels brilliant in the room. Sounds great. So there's a bunch of patches in here called FNDR. I've taken one of the clean ones for an alternative clean tone. Crank the gain of this one to 10. Just making a little adjustment there. Let's go to the back pickup. Putting the uh, gain pop back to zero, and I'm going to bring it back here. suppression on any of this by the way Five clean. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I want to sound check. Can't remember where I put the fender now. Let's start out with that on four, isn't it? It's going to change patches. I'm going to start up a beat. to the dumbbell, use the wet channel, take another loop, Gonna get a slicer on.
like how that sounded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try taking another couple of loops now using uh, the first couple of loops will be using a four bar round and then an eight bar round. But I'm going to do two guitars on each round.
Okay, so in the room, things are feeling quite nice. What well, I want to try now, just before I head out of Dodge. I want to see if I can sit a vocal in amongst this. So I'm just going to engage a reverb. One, two, two. And a little bit of uh, distortion on the voice is very subtle. Take off my tube screamer, put on a uh, compressor. Let's funk up the, the reverb. to you. I think it's the best mix I've had yet. I think things are really nice and balanced. I can't wait to show you the settings I'm using for all of these. Really easy with the Tone X, really easy with the GT1000. I'm really happy with the results. What we're going to do is try and wind that down. guitar sounded really nice in here, didn't matter which one I used, everything was sounding great. Let's just take that reverb off there, let's get rid of that bass. Yeah, it's a really nice soundscape bubbling around me there in the headphones. If you're in headphones, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it sounds nice when it goes to YouTube. Hopefully I'm back in the game, I won't have any problems with my back and I can get cracking with all of this. I feel like I've lost three months. I feel like I've lost a year, truth be known. Let's end that. I'll catch you later. Bye.